We have two different models in the queuing system, also known as waiting lines. Any place you go, you will have one of the two models. Good. Model one is a single channel queuing system, which is a system of one line and one cash register. This one can be very impatient, and in the transaction time, you can lose customers. This is an example of a single phase, single channel queuing system. Model 2 is more convenient, which is a multi phase system. This system is a single channel multi phase which means when you get your food in one section and pay in another place, which allows the line to move quicker and less frustration. This is an example of a single phase multi-channel line. Good. Although single channels are used in small businesses or small amounts of people, the single phase multi-channel is a better fit to mid to large size companies because it creates less frustration among people. Okay, here are some other elements of the waiting line systems. First, the arrivals, which includes the population size, the pattern, and the customer behavior. Two, the waiting line, the queue, which is the length and the discipline and the service, which includes the elements of the channels, faces, and the patterns. All of these three are some of the elements of the waiting line system. Okay, here let's just review some of the concepts we've gone over. Here are some of the assumptions of the queuing model. First of all, we gotta remember that the arrivals are served on the first come, first served basis, and the service times are independent of one another. The service rate is also greater than the arrival rate. Elements in the waiting line systems also contribute to this factor. Arrivals, waiting line, and servers, they, all, they, they are all good elements of the queuing system. Just remember when taking into account uh, which line system you would like to use, it all depends on your personal preference and size of business. Uh, thank you very much for watching our video and I hope you have a good day.